This is the Delta Dromius. Long slender limbs made it one of the fastest land dinosaurs. Estimated to have one of the longest predatory dinosaurs at 44 feet. Oh yeah, look at that, thanks. Take a picture with it. Daddy, wow. Next is the Dimetrodon. The name means two measures of teeth because it has two different types of teeth shearing and sharp. Spiny sail was used for thermoregulation. It's like a radiator. Mating rituals and defense against predators. So, ooh, wow! Oh my god! I can't stick my hand. Yeah, you can't. Wow. Now that guy has something. This guy's tough. So that's him. That's the dimetrodon. Oh. Next is the baryonyx. The name means heavy claw. It could walk on two or four legs and measure an average of 30 feet long and weighed an average of two tons. Oh, you got a prehistoric fish. Whoa. He won't share his fish. Look at his claws. Here, turn around. You won't hear his face. Now that it's his face. Carnotaurus. The name means meat eating bull because of a distinct pair of thick horns on head. Had forward facing eyes, which is not common among dinosaurs. Whoa, there it is, the Carnotaurus. T-Rex. Looks like one. No, they're bigger. Wait, let's get it stand in front of there. That thing is big. No, it's like it's like it, but it's called Carnotaurus. Number five on the list is the Paris Relifus, which is in the Creaceous period. Name means beside crested lizard, 40 feet long and eight feet tall, weighed two tons. The head crest was used to make sounds, enhance sense of smell, and attract mates.
No, I'm here looking around. And this one is hunting. It's like a hairy raptor, but I think there's a, there's a, I think there's another hairy It's called the uh, Deinonychus. The name means terrible claw. It had very powerful jaws with 60 curved blade-like teeth. Wow. So we have this one that's hunting. This looks like the ones from Jurassic Park without the feather, with the feathers. Oh, and here's what? another one. This one actually caught. This one actually caught the Parasaurolophus. No, this one got him. He got him. He's got dinner here. I wonder if this one's part of the uh, Fright Fest. <laughs> this one. Oh. Probably. Whoa. He's just focusing on that guy. Yeah, because that's a lot lot of food right there for him. And I'm really small. Yeah. The Utah Raptor, but fossil remains found in central Utah. The Utah Raptor had large curved killing claws. In weight, the Utah Raptor is comparable to a polar bear. So yeah, that's probably the Utah Raptor. Pretty crazy. Wow, look at his claws. This one's huge. They had a lookout and I think the T-Rex got that one. And here he is, the T-Rex. Oh man. Wow. Whoa. Look at his head. Now, Tyrannosaurus me. means the tyrant lizard king, one of the largest and most powerful dinosaurs. Had cone-shaped serrated teeth that continually replaced. Oh, man. He's huge. I think it's huge. That's the one that's the size of a bus, kids. Here. Tessa, come here. Tessa, go with daddy. Let's get his big mouth. Will he eat my hand off? Oh, he'll just eat your whole body. Try to, try to get your phone in his mouth. Oh, man, this thing, that'll really bite you in half. Man, look at that. Hey, come on. Oh man, look how big his feet are. That guy could kill somebody. Yeah. He could probably eat 10 people in a row. Oh. Here's the next one. Triceratops means three-horned face. Horns were likely used to display dominance. Strong limbs with five-toed hind and four-toed forefeet. Triceratops. Oh, I 
Now we're up to 11. The Rhizinosaurus means sky lizard due to its long claws. It weighed approximately three tons and was 10 feet tall at the hips and was 23 feet long. Use its claws to rip open insect nests. Huh. Oh my God, I think he's looking at me. I'm not lunch. Please don't give you my paper. I'll give you my paper. Ooh. I'll give you my paper if you would like to eat it. So yeah. you know that these were real, right? These were actual things that were here on Earth. Right? You know that? Yeah. Yeah. Crazy, right? Oh my god. And number 12 is the city potty. City potty. The largest city potty measured about nine feet long. Evidence of nesting behavior. There are some eggs. Looks like a prehistoric ostrich. And number 13, Rugops. The name means wrinkle face. The skull was studded with unusual holes and lines indicating either armor or a fleshy display. Hmm, looks like a small T-Rex. It's from the, also from the creation's period. Oh, look at that. Named after Quetzalcoatl, the Aztec serpent god covered in feathers. It was toothless and it's one of the largest flying creatures to exist. Oh my god. Its head is huge. Wow. Number 15, Pachycephalosaurus means thick-headed lizard, had good vision and tiny teeth, and an extremely thick skull, 10 inches thick, wow. Another creatious period. Eggs there too. Number 18, Diabloceratops, adult. It means devil horned face, discovered in Utah. The oldest known ceratopsid used its beak mouth to feed on plants. And right next to it, the baby Diabloceratops. A medium-sized, moderately built, ground-dwelling quadrupedal herbivore had long horns above its eyes and a short nose horn. 
Wow. That looks like Sarah from the Land Before Time. Well, that looks like... <laughs> Next is the Iguanodon. Name means iguana tooth. It could run on two hind legs or walk fast on all four. Its average was 30 feet long and weighed four to five tons. Wow, look at its hand. Very sharp thumb, look at that. Iguanodon, that was either from dinosaur or was land before time iguanodons. One of them could have been dinosaur. Yeah. Ooh. No, they said don't go in there. Hi. Um. Did this guy grab it? And we're on number 21, Coelophysis. A very fast runner which came in handy for hunting prey. Had jagged teeth and three digits on each hand. There it is. Ooh. Wow. Those look like... Ah. Those look like the raptors from Jurassic Park, but that's probably what they really were. Mm. Look at the color. <laughs> yeah, that's from Jurassic Park. But how did they get? Well, how did they get the dinosaurs? If they call them. How did they get them? Just like that. So big. And how big is that compared to you? Oh. About three feet. Yeah. Hollow limb because it had hollow limb bones. It resembled a long-legged bird with a stork-like head and a long curved neck. Then we go to the Brachiosaurus, which means the arm lizard because its forelimbs were longer than its hind legs. It had a strong heart in order to pump the blood all the way up its long neck. Wow, look at that thing. This is a small one. These things get much bigger. Yeah. Next on the list is 24, the Megalosaurus. It means great lizard. It had small bony knobs over each eye. Someone's laughing at us. This guy's laughing at us over here. What the? This is the Alaphosaurus, means lightweight lizard. Relied more upon speed than strength to take down its prey. Okay, 
Yup. But now it goes backwards to 25 the Apatosaurus, which also known as the Brontosaurus. It grew up to 90 feet long and 15 feet tall and weighed up to 38 tons. Its long tail counterbalanced its long neck. But this is like a baby size, so this is like a kid sized. See, its long tail is about as long as its neck, so it can balance. These are the Dilophosaurus, meaning double crested lizard. It was a fast moving bipedal carnivore, which was 20 feet long, 5 feet tall at the hips, and weighed a half a ton. And it is from the Jurassic period. And next to it is the baby Dilophosaurus, which is discovered in North America and possibly China. And its crest was flattened and semicircular and had thin legs and short legs. You think you can outrun this one? I don't know. This one's called the Edmontonia. The bony lumps that dotted this herbivore's rough hide are called osteoderms and it is theorized that it had a highly developed sense of smell due to its extensive navel passages. Wow, look at that. This one, this one doesn't eat meat, it just eats plants. And that's why it's gigantic, right? Yeah, the T-Rex, Dad. T-Rex is the most giantest one here, right? Oh, and there's eggs there, too. There's one more, the Ceratoris. I don't see it. It's called the Horned Lizard, a good swimmer because of their long tail. And it was a bipedal carnivore. And there it is. Oh, look at this one. This looks like a... Oh. And that is the end of the tour. Bye! So that is it. Six Flags Dino. Expedition Dino. And we just went through the geological time periods of the Permian, the Triassic, Jurassic, and the Cretaceous. Cretaceous. And they brought all these dinosaurs back from Dino DNA. <laughs> See you next time.